Thank you and welcome to the show today. The topic this morning is the massacre at Blacksburg, Virginia, at Virginia Tech. And of course we have with us to uh, talk about uh, this uh, massacre at uh, Blacksburg, Virginia, uh, Dr. Cupert Pohl, who is a psychiatrist in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. And of course, Dr. Pohl, let me uh, welcome you to uh, the show this morning. And to say, Dr. Pohl, there's no way that we can talk about your background in education without reminding our audience that you've been with us uh, at least 14 times and that each time that you come we get the same kind of information from you in reference to that but we there might be some small element of, of the population who might not know Dr. Cupid Poe and l let's have you from that point of view uh, give us some information about your background your education and some of the things that were important in terms of leading you to uh, where we are today and uh, and let me remind our audience too that what we're going to talk about today uh, is the uh, massacre at Blacksburg. But you also gave us some excellent information about uh, the 911 uh, situation. And over the years, we've had an opportunity to see all of it come to fruition. So go on, uh, give us some information, then we'll talk about this uh, massacre. Yes, Dr. Tina, I'm a Christian psychiatrist and minister of the gospel. Uh, I uh, pastored uh, at different times two churches here mm -hmm. in Nashville. Uh, at the present time, I'm in private practice here in Nashville, Tennessee. I also coordinate a radio program called Forgiveness Today. It's on uh, 880 AM WNSG Radio every Monday from 11 to 1145. Uh, also, back in 1998, I mm -hmm. organized a committee, uh, a group that we, we called a committee for the study of violence. Uh, we went into the Metro Jail and did uh, some research, research there. Uh, so at the present time, I'm in private practice. I'm mm -hmm. also a published author mm -hmm. and anticipate uh, publishing another book very, very soon. Mm -hmm. Very good. And so you're still involved and very, very involved in doing things spiritual as well as psychological in terms of whatever situation you're in. Yes. Or whether you are dealing with an institution or whether you're in private practice. Yes. And of course, Dr. Pope, uh, one of the things that uh, has happened over the last uh, few days, as you know, and as the uh, entire world knows, is that a tragic event. Uh, at uh, the uh, at Blacksburg, uh, Virginia, uh, the uh, Virginia Tech uh, University, and what we like to do is to talk about that and to uh, have you, in, in a real sense, give you an opportunity to simply use all of your experiences in, in, in dealing with this and to talk to us about it and, mm -hmm. tell, and give us some kind of explanation as to how and why this could have ha ever happened. Mm -hmm. Well, a friend of uh, my brother, brother in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, once said, and uh, as a matter of fact, he finished my Harry. Uh, he said once, isolation is mm -hmm. suicide. Mm -hmm. Now, what he was really saying was that people who are severely isolated are much more prone mm -hmm. to end their life. Mm -hmm. But I think that we see uh, uh, in uh, Cho Sung Wee, we see that isolation mm -hmm. uh, for him was very severe. Mm -hmm. uh, his roommate said that he didn't talk to them at all. Mm -hmm. He had no friends. He was never seen with anybody. His isolation was indeed mm -hmm. severe. Mm -hmm. And not only did it lead to suicide, mm -hmm. but it l led to multiple homicides. Mm -hmm. So social isolation, isolation from people, spiritual isolation, not having a growing relationship mm -hmm. uh, with Christ, yeah. uh, those two isolations very often will lead to severe disturbance mm -hmm. and oftentimes suicide and or homicide. Mm -hmm. And so it, it, it's a real problem. Now, do you think that this is a, a, a prevalent problem in America, the, 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 uh, that people are, in many instances, living their lives like this young man lived his life? Is that very, isolated? Absolutely. Very, very much so. Uh, I think perhaps one of the most prevalent problems we have in our nation, Dr. Mm -hmm. Haney, is, uh, is spiritual isolation, mm -hmm. uh, even more than social isolation, mm -hmm. but both spiritual and social Speak isolation. Speak to both of those. Well, okay. Uh, Having been created by God mm -hmm. for the purpose of seeking Him and for the purpose of living a life pleasing to Him, mm -hmm. which involves loving others as God loves me, mm -hmm. said another way, uh, doing unto others as I would have them do unto me, mm -hmm. unless I'm making some effort to do that, mm -hmm. then I'm not going to have the kind of relationship, mm -hmm. okay, with Christ that God desires that I have, mm -hmm. okay? So then not having that kind of relationship, mm -hmm. I'm going to be isolated. 
okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be isolated from God. I'm going to be isolated from other people. Mm -hmm. And so that means I'm going to be in a condition of despair. Mm -hmm. And that means I'm going to have deep feelings of hopelessness, helplessness, worthlessness, mm -hmm. powerlessness, and often the wish to end my life mm -hmm. and often the wish to end somebody else's life mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And so I think we see this in, uh, in Sho Sing We. We see the depth of his, if, of his despair, the depth of mm -hmm. his isolation, and the depth of his very, very low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. I'm convinced that this young man uh, had been isolated for a long time, mm -hmm. and I think it was contributed to partially by the teasing that I understand that he experienced mm -hmm. in high school, and I wouldn't be surprised if there was a fair amount of teasing mm -hmm. at uh, Virginia Tech as well. And, and of course, uh, Dr. Paul, let us uh, have this uh, first commercial break, and then after we come back, we'll continue this. Huh? We'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. That analysis.